Come join me as I take a neighborhood drive through tour of Red Point Square Village. And that's what I'm talking about today. So let's get started. Everyone. Welcome back to my channel. I'm Angela O'Hare, your favorite Las Vegas realtor. And today I'm going to be taking a drive through tour of one of the newest villages in Summerlin called Red Point Square Village. So Red Point Square Village is immediately north of the Red Point Village, right off of Far Hills and the 215. This village features a blend of single family attached and detached homes, meaning there are some single family homes, plus townhomes and condos in this village. And it's gonna be right next door to the urban core, which will be off of the 215 and Summerlin Parkway. And the urban core is gonna be this grand shopping center. Not sure exactly what it entails in the urban core, but stay tuned to future videos where hopefully soon I can go over what the urban core is. The builders in this village are Richmond American, Toll Brothers, Lennar, Woodside Homes, and Taylor Morrison. The point of Red Point Square is the homes are supposed to be a little more affordable than the rest of Summerlin. So meaning that they're gonna have a lot of homes that are gonna be super close together. The lot sizes are gonna be super small. Again, a lot of townhome communities in this village or subdivisions along with new condos that will be coming soon. The subdivisions in Red Point Square Village are uh, Ascent by KB Homes, which are townhomes, Cascades by Taylor Morrison, which is all single family residents. Then you have Cordillera by Toll Brothers, which is coming soon uh, in the near future or already exists by the time you watch this video, which is luxury condos or townhomes. Then you have Highline by Lennar Homes, which are condos, Morrow Point and Morrow Rock by Richmond American, which are townhomes. And then last is Obsidian by Woodside Homes, which are single family residents. So I'm gonna try and go in order and drive around and show you what Red Point Square Village looks like. And I'm not sure, it's been a while since I've driven this. I don't know if it reaches to Summerlin Parkway yet or not, but we shall see. So let's go. Okay, I just got off of the 215, or I guess you should say Far Hills, and I'm actually heading north on Far Hills, which would be a right when you get off of the 215. So we're going to check out this Red Point Square Village. And the first one on the tour is going to be Ascent by KB Homes, which is all townhomes in this community or this subdivision. They're all two-story townhomes with six different floor plans to choose from, ranging between 14, 48 square feet to 1860 square feet, three to four bedrooms, two and a half to or two and a half bathrooms, two car garage, and priced in the high 300s. So to the right, right there is the police station. And then also to the right is going to be the new uh, High Line. They're going to have High Line 1 and High Line 2 by Lennar Homes. And then straight ahead is Oops, nope, I don't want to go down Red Point Drive. So right there is actually a scent, so I went the wrong way. But that's okay. I'm gonna flip around <laughs> and get <laughs> in the right direction. Gosh, I was too busy talking, but we can see the famous Red Point sign. I haven't seen a Red Point Square sign yet. Let's flip around. Alrighty, take two. Ah, there's the Red Point Square sign. I'm gonna have to get a picture of that. It's a little small. Alrighty, so we're on carriage. We're gonna take a left right here, which is, I need to wear my glasses. Sorry, I can't see. Carriage Hill, Kindle Corner. Alrighty, 
and then to the right is Obsidian, which we're going to go drive in that community next. But first, we're going to go into KB. And I do believe that actually they're almost pretty much sold out, which is pretty amazing how fast that this happened. Um, and they're nice townhomes. They're pretty good size. They have a good feel to them. I've never did a video on it just because at the time when I was so busy that I never had a chance to really do videos on this community and the sun is bright today. But if you look at it, there are the, there's no driveways, which, you know, for me, that could be a game changer. I need a driveway. The garages look okay, but I think, um, you yeah, know, but it's a townhome, so a little more affordable than if you were to buy a single family home in Red Point Village. But it looks like, yeah, they're, they're wrapping up here, I do believe. All right, we're gonna go across the way to Obsidian. And Obsidian is all single family homes. There's single, I mean, there's two story and three story. Let's see what's up with the Obsidian. So Obsidian is two and three story homes. They have five different floor plans to choose from ranging between 1355 square feet to 1899 square feet, two to three bedrooms, two to four bathrooms, priced in the low 400s. I will be doing one day, when I get a moment, I'm gonna come take a look at these models and do a video of them. I'm not sure if the models just recently opened up. I have never had anyone um, curious about this community, so I'm not too familiar with it, but this is by Woodside Homes. Woodside's a good builder. I do have a client buying a Woodside home over in Sky Canyon, but I have not sold anything over here in the Red Point Square Village. But you can see these from the freeway. So I'm going to just drive around this neighborhood and then we'll just keep on exploring Red Point Square and how much it's been developed. They're going to be tall and it looks like they also don't have much of a driveway. I'm not too familiar what the lot premiums are in this community either. Um, so yeah. Okay, <laughs> not a lot to show. I didn't get video of Okay, let's take a left on Carriage Hill. I'm just curious to see where it leads on Carriage Hill. Look at the mountains, it's beautiful. Yeah, see those ones you can see from the freeway. So this is going to take to Sky Vista. Oh, cool. So Sky Vista is going to come all the way down here. I'm going to get out of the car and show you guys the views. 
Alrighty, so I am over here at Sky Vista and Carriage Hill at a dead end. So it's cool that Sky Vista is going to come all the way this way, but look at the beautiful mountain views. You can see the entire city from here. I don't know if you can see the strip. It's actually a clear day today, so it's pretty nice. I don't know if I can zoom on this GoPro. Still learning my GoPro. But eventually, let's see where we are at. I do believe this is going to be right there where those lights are. I don't know if you can see, is actually going to be, um, or is the Summerlin Parkway. And I bet you this little area right here, I could be wrong, could be the whole shopping center, but I don't know, because you have this huge ditch. But it's right next to the Red Point Square Village. And then next to that, they're going to have a new village called Kestrel Commons and then Kestrel. So those will be, I do believe, the next new village is coming. I could be wrong. But eventually, it's going to meet all the way from Far Hills to Lake Mead. Okay. Just look at the views. Right out. I can't even not wear my shades because of how bright it is. All right, so that was interesting. Let's go find the other subdivisions here in Red Point Square Village. It's got beautiful views. I don't know what they're gonna build to the left. That's gonna be interesting. I wonder if it's going to be homes. Hmm. All right, we're going to go back and take a right on Kindle. What is this called? Kindle Corner. Alrighty, let's onward and forward. All right, now we're approaching Desert Foothills. To the left on Desert Foothills is Moro Rock, and to the right is Moro Point, and they're actually gonna have the same two models to showcase. So in Moro Rock and Moro Point, basically, let's see, where is it? They're two-story townhomes, two floor plans to choose from, either the Chicago or the Boston, um, 15, 10 square feet to 15, 20 square feet, three bedrooms, two and a half bathrooms, priced in the low 400s. This one, Morrow Rock, is pretty much sold out. And so, however, I don't think they have model homes in Morrow Point. So if you want to look at the homes in Morrow Rock or Morrow Point, then you need to come to Morrow Rock and see them, if that makes any sense. I'm gonna get a video of the outside. While I'm here. So yeah, pretty much this is Richmond American, Morrow Rock, and the homes are only two models to choose from, which is the Boston or the, gosh, Chicago. <laughs> I don't know why I can't remember it. And this one's pretty much sold out in Morrow Rock. That's why they opened Morrow Point, which is right next door. And these two have very little, that's neat. They have like that little common area right there. These two have very little driveways and the garage is your front where the front is your back.
So right across the way is Cordillera, which are luxury townhomes by Toll Brothers. And they're gonna have a rooftop deck option priced, let's see which this one is, Cordillera. Three-story townhomes, three floor plans to choose from, 1803 square feet to 2154 square feet, three to four bedrooms, two full baths, two half baths, two car garage, priced in the low 500s. And like I said, they are gonna have entry courtyards and covered patios with rooftop deck options. Um, looks like the sales center is open, but they are not, don't have the model homes yet. And that's typical Toll Brothers all the time because they like to open and sell. It's gonna be very nice though, look at the location. Especially if they're gonna be three um, story townhomes, they're gonna to have a nice community pool. It's gonna be a very nice little area, I think. And then across the way is actually Cascades by Taylor Morrison. And this one's pretty much also almost sold out. Let me find my sheet on that one. These are two and three story homes with three plus floor plans, meaning you have three floor plans and those floor plans you can make into three story homes. 1649 square feet to 2242 square feet, three to four bedrooms, two bathrooms, one to two and a half baths, two car garage, priced from the low 400s. So yeah, pretty much. It's sold out. And this one's a gated community. Now, as for HOAs and, and all of this villages, I don't know which each of these subdivision HOA is going to be. I do know that the HOA for uh, Summerlin West is $48 a month. So that's one HOA. You're going to have two HOAs, especially if it's gated. So I'm going to take some pictures of the homes or video of the homes here. And these are single family residential homes where you know, at least you have a driveway and, but they're very close together. So remember the point of the Red Point Square Village was to have homes to be more affordable, very little lot sizes, no views. Well, maybe some views if you have the three story and um, just very smaller lots. But this is the price you pay if you want to live in Summerlin. This was a smaller of the communities and I remember when they first opened, they were selling pretty fast. I don't see too many vacant lots left. And if there are, there could be standing inventory homes, maybe just a few left. this way. Where does this take me? It's probably going to take me to another dead end. Yup. Another great view though. Let's see. What's the street? Red Pass Drive. Let me see if I can go down it. So to the right is going to be Cordillera. Looks like it's a pretty good townhome. And then let's see what this sign says. What's going to be here? This is going to be Howard Hughes. Nope, it doesn't tell me private property, no trespassing. Does not tell me if they're going to be building or what they're going to be building here. 
it's hard to imagine that they have 20 years left of Summerlin to be developed when if you just see how much has grown this year and last year alone, it's a lot has happened. So it's kind of interesting to see how much longer Summerlin will continue to go. And once they're done, that's it. And Summerlin has been around for 30 years. If you've watched any of my other videos, I recently did a Red Point Village drive through And so, yeah, I mean, they're selling pretty fast, especially with this past year and COVID. So this is Red Pass. And there's only one more. Whoops, someone's calling me. There's only one more community to go over. We briefly passed it when um, we were getting into this village and that's going to be the new Lennar homes. The Lennar condos called Highline 1 and Highline 2 as I mentioned before. And um, there's two collections of condominiums, seven floor plans to choose from. 1448 square feet to 1956 square feet, two to four bedrooms. Gosh, that's sun. Two and a half to three bathrooms. And I can't tell if they're going to have a garage or not. And prices have yet to be released, so we're going to have to pay attention. It looks like actually they are going to have garages because it looks like they have some things started over here a little further along than when I was down here not too long ago. So I'll just take a quick video of it and then see what else there is. I think that's it. interesting to find out what they're gonna build right in here hmm. they need more shopping I know they're gonna have the urban core which is right next to the Red Point Square Village and then eventually the new village Kestrel Commons and then Kestrel um, however they need some more amenities here in Summerlin West the only ones that I can think of is um, I think it's off of Desert Foothills and Charleston not quite certain exactly the location, but they have an Albertsons and a few things there, but there's not a lot of commercial shopping here in the Red Point Square Village or Summerlin West altogether. So we're going to go up Red Point Drive and probably just land on the Red Point Village. Now to the left is going to be your Red Point Village. To the right is Red Point Square, which is north and I'm heading west. Fun facts. It's a lot of construction. Ooh, but I am going to wrap it up. I don't think there's... But I went over all of them. So um, if you're thinking about buying new construction in Summerlin or buying a resale home in Summerlin, I'm your go-to Summerlin expert. You can always give me a call at 702 three seven zero five one one two um if you have any questions or comments leave it down below as always like share subscribe and all that jazz and i'll see you guys on the next one